matter in surroundings. Introduction The air we breathe, the food we eat, stones, clouds, stars, plants and animals, even a small drop of water or an animal, even a small drop of water or particle of sand, everything is matter. We can also see as we look around that all the things mentioned above occupy space and have mass. In other words, they have both mass and volume. In this chapter, we shall learn about matter based on its physical properties. Nature of Matter Take 2-3 crystals of potassium permanganate and dissolve them in 100 ml of water. Take out approximately 10 ml of this solution and put it into 90 ml of clear water. Take out 10 ml of this solution and put it into another 90 ml of clear water. Keep diluting the solution like this 5 to 8 times. Is the water still colored? This experiment shows that just a few crystals of potassium permanganate can color a large volume of water, say about 1000 liters. So, we conclude that there must be millions of tiny particles in just one crystal of potassium permanganate, which keep on dividing themselves into smaller and smaller particles. Diffusion of Particles Take two glasses or beakers filled with water. Put a drop of blue or red ink slowly and carefully along the sides of the first beaker and honey in the same way in the second beaker. Leave them undisturbed in your house or in a corner of the class. Record your observations. What do you observe immediately after adding the ink drop? What do you observe immediately after adding a drop of honey? How many hours or days does it take for the color of ink to spread evenly throughout the water? Ink is dispersed readily rather than honey. Honey is dispersed slowly. Particles of matter intermix on their own with each other. They do so by getting into the spaces between the particles. This intermixing of particles of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion. Matter has space. Place a perfume